Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the Target Beauty Box. Target has come out with more beauty boxes every month, I've noticed. I used to get them months ago when there were only like two available per month and then I stopped because I was just acquiring too much stuff. Anyway, they seem to have multiplied and they have like th four or five available. I watched Just Anne's video where she unboxed every Target beauty box that was available this month and I really really liked the lip one. They were all pretty darn good this month but this one was pretty pretty good and I wanted it for myself mainly because it has a Milani lipstick in it so it's only seven dollars. If you're not familiar with Target beauty boxes they're seven dollars. They come out monthly and they you can get them online and they don't charge um, shipping. It's just seven dollars plus tax and then they ship it to you for free. And they come in this cute, sturdy little box. So I'm gonna get into it. I'm really excited to see which lipstick color I got from Milani. If you're here and you're curious how I'm doing, I will, as usual, talk about that at the end of the video so that if you don't care about that, you can just watch the unboxing and then click away. So this is it. It is so cute. And it looks like this. It has, it's a pucker up is the theme. So it's all lip stuff. And then it has some like boring, <laughs> boring text right there. But then there's a $3 off coupon on the back. So that's cool. And then there's descriptors actually on the back for each item included. I don't remember that when I used to get them before. Maybe it was included and I just overlooked it. So the first thing is a Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Peony. These aren't new. I thought that these boxes were about like showing us what is new in the drugstore, but this is not a new thing. Maybe they reformulated or something. Let's see. Moisturizing lip mask. Single-use lip mask moisturizes and hydrates instantly and defines your lips with a blend of natural ingredients including meadow foam, sea, and almond oils. This 100% natural hydrating formula leaves behind soft, smooth, and nourished lips. So it has like a little baby pink tint to it, which is super cute. That's actually pretty much what I have on right now, so I'll definitely like this. And then the next thing, I'm going to give this to my husband. It's a Peppermint Organic Lip Balm by Dr. Bronner's. We love Dr. Bronner's stuff. We use their soap in the shower. And let's see if what it says. Rich blend of a jojoba, avocado, and hemp oils keeps lips soft and smooth. Two for one. Use lip balm to treat dry hands or cuticles. Revive a chapped chin or cheeks and provide relief for chafed skin. My husband could use this on his fingers as well. He's one of those guys who gets the man hands and they start to crack and everything because he does so much and he, he's started to put lotion on and it's helped a lot. This is super pretty. I'm going to swatch this. This Oh, this is Soap and Glory. <laughs> um, and it's really shimmery. I'm... I'm filming on Photo Booth. If you are unfamiliar with me and my channel, I have moved everything's in storage and I'm just making do with what I can. So it's super pretty, super shimmery. And let's see, this plump, this plumping glass glides on so lips feel soft and look ravishing, featuring our trademark lip plumping technology to add extreme volume and moisture, making lips feel instantly fuller. Definitely something to shout about. <laughs> Cute. Shout a pout with a P, not about, like about. Shout a pout. Anyway, it's likely that besides your pout looking plumper, your lips will feel a little buzz. Not to worry, it's normal. So this is a plumper. Um, I'm, you know, I'm kind of learning about myself that I'm not so much into lip glosses and therefore lip plumpers because plumpers usually come in gloss form. Uh, just because I I like long-lasting lip colors. I just have a preference for it. There's really no other reason. I think they look really pretty in general, but when I wear them, I don't like all the transfer. I don't like feeling like I'm eating so much of my lip color. Here we go. Let's just swatch this anyway, see how opaque it is or not opaque it is. Okay, so it's just a light, light pink shimmer. That's super pretty. That's really pretty. Once in a while I'll wear something like this, but I have a couple already. I think the other one I have is by Soap and Glory. 
I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so here is the Milan. No, I'm gonna save the Milani lipstick for last. Next is a St. Ives lip scrub. So this was pretty cool too. So this is seven dollars, and I would say I wonder what this retails for. If it says it doesn't even have the retail value on each of the items, so I couldn't really calculate it offhand. I would say everything in here probably retails for forty dollars. So that's really really good. So this is a St. Ives lip scrub, sweet passion fruit see how it smells it's really subtle and it smells a little like tiny bit tropical and fruity which you would kind of expect let me see i have lip color on but i want to see what this feels like it's got very fine grains of sure oh but they would okay when i rub it on my hand i can feel that they would be very scrubby so it's pretty coarse but i think that that would work well I'll do a review video and talk about this and let you know what I think of it. I've been using the Wish Lip Scrub from uh, Bad Bit Fun, and I've had that for like over a year and it's still going really strong. I love that stuff. Next, second to last thing. Oh, let, well, let's read about this St. Ives thing. Vibrant exfoliating scrub polishes away dullness to reveal super soft, smooth lips. Okay, so we knew that, right? Simply massage exfoliator onto lips, then wipe off and glow. So this thing is, I guess, one of those, it's a cooling gel lip mask. Okay, directions. To cool a mask, place it in the refrigerator for one hour or in the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. Place mask on lips for 10 to 15 minutes. For best results, use mask after applying your favorite lip scrub and moisturizing products. I'm not sure why would we, we would want to use this. Pucker up. The cooling gel lip mask may help to soothe lips and lock in moisture all day long. I thought we put cooling stuff on our face to help with puffiness. I could be wrong, I always kind of assumed that and that's always what it's done for me. And don't we want puffy lips, so why would we want to put something that would help with puffiness on our lips? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what this says. Delivers cool, soothing relief for a moisturizing at-home spa experience. Place mask in the refrigerator and then it has the directions that I just read to you. So I don't see me using this very much. I love putting stuff like this on my eyes and on my face in general, but on my lips, not so much. Oh, you know what? And this... <laughs> This thing was staring me at staring me in the face and I was completely looking through it. So this is a moisturizing lip mask. Same with lip masks. I don't really see a point in lip masks. I've tried them, but what I like to do is I like to use a lip scrub at night and then put on like a really, really nice moisturizer on my lips. Like um I have right now the Grown Alchemist one from the last Fab Fit Fun sale. And then I have one from Joey. I will link it below. It's pricey. It's like $16 retail, but it's so, so good. I will link it below. I think it's from, I think Joy is at Sephora. So, but it's the best lip moisturizer I've ever used. But anyway, I like to put something on at night before I go to bed and it really does the job overnight. So not so into lip masks is my point, but this says it is, um, meadow foam sea and seed and almond oils instantly hydrates and defines lips oh you know what i read this earlier i read this description for this thing but obviously it fooled me so this thing's description says enriched with shea butter beeswax wax and antioxidant rich fruit oils to moisturize nourish and soften lips naturally lip shimmers glide on the perfect complement of moisture and touch of color that's more like it 100 percent natural moisturizing lip tint has a smooth texture that looks great alone or to layer with your favorite lipstick okay <laughs> that makes more sense and then i already read you this but i'll read it once more single use lip mask moisturizes and hydrates instantly and defines your lip lips with a blend of natural ingredients including meadow foam sea and almond oil, almond oils this 100% natural hydrating formula leaves behind soft, smooth, and nourished lips. So I remember when, when I read it earlier, I was like, single use, that's weird. I'll clear it up now. Now for the big thing that I was really, really curious about. It's the Milani Lip Stick. It had, I saw Just Ann's video, and if you don't know who Just Ann is, you really should. I will link her channel and her Target un unboxing video in the description box below. Anyway, so I saw hers. And I saw that it had this. I looked up the Milani lipstick and it has really decent reviews on Milani's website. But anyway, so I sprung for this. So this does look, so this is the color and that's the color sticker. This looks like a very 
deep dark brown that would go much better on a darker complexion uh but it's pretty let's see let's uh try to swatch this okay no maybe maybe i'm wrong i bet i i could probably i have lipstick on let's try oh no that's much better than i thought i thought it, I, I think it, it's going on much lighter than it looks It's funny filming on Photo Booth. It's what I started filming my YouTube channel on. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I like it a lot better than I did when I first looked at it. So I think that these might still be available. I'll link that in the description box as well. Uh, so you can head over and grab one for yourself. Check out Just Dan's video. You can see all the other boxes this month and see if you want the other ones too or just look on the website and see what's in them so that is the target beauty box if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing i usually do a much better job on my videos right now i will get into my update so if you're curious about what's going on with me and why i'm using photo booth and not yeah <laughs> not all set up with a proper filming situation i am 24 weeks pregnant i'm currently i just moved from one area of the united states to another i don't like to share too too much on youtube about exactly where i live not because of you but because of possible other creeps um out there but i totally trust you anyway um so i've just moved super pregnant and i just started a new job and i'm living with my parents while my husband and i are looking for a house to purchase actually we're going after this one house and my fingers are crossed that we eventually are able to come to some sort of handshake with the seller on terms and all of that and begin inspections and escrow anyway so that is that's where the housing search is at we are waiting to hear they sh they need to get back to us by the end of day tomorrow it is now monday president's day so we're waiting to hear back on the house fingers crossed and then i will be able to get all of my filming stuff out of storage my makeup is in storage which i know some of you are probably your jaws hitting the floor right now and i'm living on the necess necessities really and then uh baby is doing fine he is kicking more and more and my friends just kind of stepped up and offered to throw me a baby shower so i'm really excited about that we're working on planning that and I am feeling pretty good. I, as far as pregnancies go, I am very grateful that it's not worse. I am so tired though, and it's because my body is making a baby, and I just did a huge move, and I'm not, I'm not in my own space, and my job is very, very busy. It's great, but it's very, very busy. So, just so much going on. But things are good, and I can't wait to get back to a normal filming schedule. I just don't have a lot of energy right now. I am so wiped out. For now, thank you for bearing with me and watching my kind of put together videos where I'm just sitting on the couch and open my laptop and turn on photo booth and film. I really appreciate it. I love you all so much and thank you for your care and your questions and just thank you for everything. I love you and I will I will keep filming as much as I can until I get back onto a regular schedule. I said that already. Okay, I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!